Item, uh, item 7A, uh, I indicated at our July 28th meeting that I would have a response to a, a posting that Mr. Totten placed on the uh, on the Chatham County Bulletin Board. Uh, I had researched the items that was placed there. I had an opportunity to meet with uh, Mr. Totten and go over these items uh, Friday of this week, and at this time I would like to share my my findings and my response with the board. Um, um, Mr. Tartan expressed some concerns relative to some financial matters how various capital projects, well, it dealt with a number of things. Um, and I, in this response, dated August 11th, I have got the outlay concerns from Mr. Cotton, but I've actually repeated uh, his question or issue, and then I've responded accordingly. Um, I'm going to try to paraphrase some of this rather than going through all this verbatim, because it is quite a bit of information. It would take quite a while to do so. I will start, the, start by uh, indicating the question and then uh, move into the response. Uh, his first concern dealt with how can, now some of these are verbatim, I lived to them from the post in verbatim, and others are paraphrased, but how can we go from a surplus on, uh, on the project, and when he speaks of project, he's talking about the uh, Bleacher Project at the Northwood High School. Uh, of over 76000 to an additional need of almost 39000 How much, if anything, was added that we do not know about? What did it go to pay for? Who was the sole authority to approve such creative work and expenditures and change changes without putting it before the Board of Education? And in my response, I pointed out that uh, the figure of 298000 was an estimate given to us by Dixon and Associates. That's an engineering firm. Uh, as I recall, the uh, from my research, not my recollection because, again, um, this was prior to my arrival in the district. Uh, my research, I found that uh, the Bleacher Project was removed from under the Northwood Renovation uh, Capital Improvement Project because the uh, contractor was concerned about having to change the scope of the scale of the project uh, to get the Bleacher work in. So he suggested to us a um, an engineering firm that could give us the type of professional information that we would need to do the Bleacher Project. That turned out to be Dixon and Associates. Um, in March, the Board of Education did a budget amendment, added funds to the Northwood Bleacher Project, which was never under the Capital Improvement Project, uh, in order to see to it. The additional funds came from the Northwood, came from the leftover from the asbestos removal project. In addition, funds for two yellow buses were transferred over to the Bleacher Project. This increased the total available of the project to 398000 uh, The budget was amended to move this money. It was approved by the Board of Ed on March 10, 2008. The motion was made by Colonel Totten and seconded by Mr. Clark. And I have uh, documentation to support all of these findings. The construction document that was quoted by Mr. Totten from the July 28th board meeting included nothing but the bleachers. There are additional costs for grading, pulling of concrete slabs, a retaining wall that was needed for structural integrity, the addition of handicap accessibility, uh, and sidewalks were all additional things after the original um, cost was estimated. The visitor's side totaled about 100000 and the home side 298000 for a total of three ninety eight. There was never a surplus of $78,000. With the three ninety eight. Uh, we requested from the county commissioners 38785 that was left over from the 0708 capital outlay budget to be used for additional costs on the Bleacher Project. The remaining shortfall will be covered from the maintenance budget. It's, um, I wanted to also point out that the total project now is over $400,000. So it is above the 398. It's about 450000 where we are with the total project now. And the reason that the project has reached a number higher than what was budgeted to 398 is for some of the items that I've included in here. We, we did go back and add handicap accessibility, and well, that's required. Uh, we have to do that. It has to have handicap accessibility. Grading and the concrete slab were not a part of, part of the original estimate, estimation for the project. And uh, a retaining wall was added. 
uh, for the instructional integrity of the bleachers as well as uh, it allows us to do to add at a later time a concession stand that the board, that the school may wish to add behind the bleachers at some later time. So in the project, while we're, we're doing it all, we have been able to find the resources to do a first-rate, first-class project. The home side bleachers, or the visitors bleachers are complete. The home side is well in the construction and we hope to have this all completed on time. Uh, at this point, yes, we did request through the commissioners uh, to move over 38,785.35 that was left over from our 0708 capital projects to help uh, balance the overage on this project and the remaining portion of that money will be billed through the maintenance budget to cover the cost of it. So no additional resources are necessary. Uh, it does exceed the original budget by uh, some thousands of dollars, uh, yet in st still that's all necessary in order to bring in a quality <coughs> project. Um, before I leave that one, would, would you prefer that I run through them all or that I respond to any questions that you may have as we go through each one? I think you might be good to have questions on my one if anyone has any. Anyone have any questions on that item? And Mr. Moody is here with me tonight as well as uh, Mr. Rumsfeld, so they can respond to some questions. If that's the way you want to handle it, then maybe I can, can cut down on my comments. Uh, one of the questions that I have is how in the world can we take a professional engineering firm and send them out there and give them all the time in the world to take a look at what we want and come up with a, with a project that's uh, just about $100,000 over the, the original budget uh, and, and not have that money coming from someplace. Uh, we started out with a, with a uh, an original figure of $298,000, which was the, the engineering firm's uh, supposedly educated guests. They're supposed to be able to do things like that. And then we end up, as of today, we're at $476,000 on that project. And, uh, and, and really, the, the end is not in sight because we don't have the key to it yet. Uh, that's my question, is how do we how can we accept an estimate like that and trust it and then go to the go to the county commissioners who have to write the checks and uh, with a straight face and ask for this kind of these kinds of funds there are others throughout this that, that I mean that's the big one but there is another one uh, I'll just mention it right now although it's not in here uh, we just had a meeting last week or two, a week and a half ago with the engine with the architects on the on the middle school and the middle school budget already now is hundreds of thousands of dollars over the budget now how, how can that happen the two people are working on it trying to bring it down one is the is the uh, the architect himself and the other one is is Randy and maybe it's been reduced we'll have another meeting about that but <coughs> You know, I, I sit on the tax board and I see these, these little old ladies come in screaming and hollering about how they have to pay taxes and then we go to them or something like this. And, I, you know, I sympathize with them. So my question is, why do we accept second-rate stuff like this? Well, Mr. Totten, the uh, Dixon and Associates gave us their best estimate of the cost of the project and it was not right on the money. And in order to uh, get the job done and a quality job, which everyone expects and requires, um, what was necessary to be done has been done. Uh, projects frequently don't come in on the mark. Uh, you mentioned one that we're working on right now. We are trying to bring down the cost of the Briar uh, Chapel Middle School project. The fact that uh, the estimate that we have on the project right now is over over the budgeted amount of the estimated budgeted amount therefore we're going to try to get it back down within that range um, this project is not a hundred thousand dollars over it is about eighty thousand dollars over uh, 467 in comparison to 398 what was budgeted and i've indicated what that additional cost has been is what it's for it's for grading it's for the point of the concrete slab slabs too, one on the business side and one on the uh, home team, home side, our, the Norwood side, a retaining wall, that's the only thing that was really added in, and uh, the addition of handicapped accessibility, which is required, and sidewalks, 
which were not in the original estimates.